Hey, this is Ken Finnan from Capital Advantage Tutoring. My job to get you past the SIE and the Series 7. Welcome to the episode what everyone always asks about. We've done long margin. People said it helped. Now we're doing short margin. So what is shorting? So shorting stock is when you, when say you think the stock's going to go shit the bed. Say it's going down. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to go to someone and say, can I borrow your shares? And then you sell them like they're yours. And hopefully they drop and you can buy it back and then give the shares back. We only had to pay it a little bit less. Example, I sell stock at 50, I receive $50. Remember, this is from shares I sold that I borrowed. Then it goes down to 30. Hopefully I buy it back for $30. I had 50, I spent 30. I give the shares back to Louie who I borrowed them from and I walk away with 20 bucks. But the risk is, is that it can go up and then I have to buy it back for more than I sold it for. So that's why you need to do it in a margin account. Always in a margin account. There's no exceptions, okay? So now let's move on to this. So now, again, I'm warning you guys that I lost my mouse. I'm trying to pick up another one tomorrow, but so it's going to be like finger pad, think pad, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm not a fan of that. Now we're going to do short margin. Guys, if you like what I'm doing, please hit like and subscribe and tell other people. So I use, let's say, we sell short, now we know what that is, short, 1,000 shares of IBM at 50, okay? At 50, we'll do this, make it easy. We sell short 100,000, $1,000 shares worth of IBM at 50 bucks. So what we're going to do is, well, now it's an, it can only be done in a margin account. And remember, reg T is always 50% of the market value, or in this case, of the proceeds. So we will have to deposit, see, I can't do this, $25,000. We will have to deposit 25 big ones. So that means I sold short 1,000 shares at 50. That, that puts 50,000 in my account from selling it. And then I have to put 25 of my own. So voila, I have, how much do I have in my account? You guessed it, 75,000. So I have 75 grand sitting in my account. That's called the credit balance. The credit, if I could spell, that would be awesome. That's called the credit balance. So the credit balance is how much money is sitting in your account. You can't walk away with that, but that's how much is sitting in the account. And what happens is when you want to get out of your position, you buy back the stock wherever it is, and then whatever's left is your equity. So the way we figure out equity is always going to be credit balance minus market value. So I use an acronym, Russian children must eat snow. So R is reg T. You guys can memorize it. R is reg T. C is, and remember, reg T is always 50% of the market value, not the credit balance, market value. C is my credit balance. M is my market value. And you might even want to call it the short market value because that's where the stock is trading. And that's what it would cost to buy it back. Okay. Then we have Equity, wonderful equity. So we have equity. Equity is what we have if we walked away, our ownership, okay? So that's going to be credit minus market. And then SMA, we all know, is the excess equity. The amount of equity we have that's more than reg T, which is 50%. So let's do this. So let's say we shorted it at 50. We have a $75,000 credit balance. So we'll put that here. And we'll change up a couple of things. So let's say the actual stock over here, just so you know, dropped to... $40 a share, okay? We, it dropped to 40. So we're okay with that. It dropped to 40 bucks a share. We're good to go. Now, that means the market value is now 40,000. So we're gonna put 40 grand here. Remember, Russian children must eat snow. So we have 40 grand in equity, 40 grand in market value. Sorry, didn't mean to say equity. We have a credit balance of 75, a market value of 40. That means our equity, it's because if we were to take the 75 we have, buy the stock back for 40, we would leave 35,000. That is our equity, okay? So now that's great. So we have 35,000 in equity, if I did the math right. They always want SMA, so how do we do SMA? SMA is gonna be equity minus reg T. Now remember, reg T is half the market value. Look over here, it's 40 is the market value. So what our reg T is gonna be 20. So equity is 35, reg T is 20. So our SMA is 15 grand. So if they ask you, Type. 
If they ask you how much money can you withdraw, that's the SMA, that's the 15 grand. Pretty simple, I think. So let's try a new one just to have a little fun, but I'm gonna do it quicker. And I'm not gonna give you all the story, I'm just gonna say this. They're gonna give this to you. Say you have a credit balance of 50 grand and a market value of 30. What's your equity? Oh yes, guys, you are so right. It is 20 grand. And then half of the market value is 15 up here under the Russian. Then that would leave us, well, equity. So equity is credit minus market, C minus M, that's 20. My equity is 20. Then my 20 minus the rate T of 15 grand is the grand old number of 5,000. So that's my SMA. That's what I get to walk away with. Awesome. So that's how you do short margin, but let's add a couple wrinkle into this. What happens if the stock, if the market starts going up, not down, up, because down is good, up is bad. So if our minimum equity, equity, if our minimum equity falls, and it's called minimum maintenance, if you want to call it, falls below 30% of the market value, vacuum, I guess is the word, value, then we have to start depositing money. We have to deposit cash or, or two times the amount in stock. I can't type, you see that? Two times the amount in stock. So if we get a maintenance call of $1,000, we can, oh no, let's not do 1,000. Let's say we have a maintenance call of $5,000. We can either, either deposit 5,000 in cash or we can deposit 10 grand in stock from fully paid stock. It can't be margined. It has to be stock from somewhere else that you can do, or you can just use. So if you have 10,000 in stock, that is a loan value of five grand. So that would meet our thing. Now, the second part of the minimum maintenance is the big number 2K. You can never have less than two grand. So if you short $3,000 worth of stock, well, rate T is 1,500, we have to put down two grand because that's the requirement. Never less than two grand in a margin account on the short side ever. Okay. That makes sense. Now the last one, which usually won't show up on the test. If the stock is $5 or less per share. Okay. The minimum maintenance is either 250. Oh, I love that. I hit that all the time. There we go, $2.50 a share or 100% of the market value, whichever is greater, okay? Which the greater of, which is greater. And remember, don't forget the two grand, then they could throw that trick at you. So if you short five, $10,000 of a $2 stock, well, you look at it, okay, 250 a share is, 25,000, I think that works, or it's 100%, which is 20,000. So that doesn't work, okay? So you'd have to put down the 25 grand, that's the larger one, okay? Now let's say you short a $10,000, 10,000 shares of a $4 stock. Well, 250 a share is 25,000. $4 a share, which is 100%, is 40,000. So you have to put down the 40 grand, I like big numbers. So that's where that goes, is that you have to put down the greater of the two. So the way I remember it is if the stock is 250 or less, you put down $2.50 a share. If it's between 251 and $5 a share, you put down 100%. There you go. The quick and dirty 14 minute short margin. If you don't get it, watch it again and please join my lives. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe and join my lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ask your questions, join in, have some fun. Everyone seems to like the uh, chat because everyone helps each other out. And I think we're good. And there's my wife texting me, so I am out of here.